on what drives him, competition or money. Exactly, the record, the adrenaline. But Piers, let's be honest, the last year's football changed. I see football now as a business to be honest. Sometimes Georgina's expression, that I don't understand that they treat you players like a piece of meat. I say, yes, you say everything is true. I see football, Piers, the last years. As a business. I saw many, many things that I'm disappointing. The passion for the game is still intact. But in the same way, I saw other things as well. Which surprised me, but in the same way. It's part of the business because if you see the world, how it is at the moment, it's all business. On walking out of a pre-season friendly. Me and eight players, but they mentioned only my name everyone do that. Last year, many players did the same. In that game eight players do the same, but they only speak about the black sheep which is me, which is, I completely understand, okay, it's done, I apologize to the coach and for me. The chapter was closed. On refusing to come on as a substitute against Tottenham. Piers I will be honest with you, it's something that I regret to left from the stadium. Probably, or maybe no, I don't know. It's difficult to tell you 100%, but let's say I regret, but in the same way I felt provoked by the coach. Not allowed for me, a coach to put me in three minutes in a game. Sorry, I'm not that kind of player. I know what I can give to the teams. On being forced out of United and his relationship with Ten Hag. The feeling he always mentioned to me, that I didn't need the pre-season, so I should wait for my opportunity. I really understand that should, well, okay, I understand. But I'm not going to give you points, but you don't do it the same procedure to every players. I'm not gonna mention players, but they don't do it the same way. Second, I understand that becoming a new job, Manchester was so bad the last five years that it should make they should clean the house, let's say in that way. But the way they approach, the way the press make this so big, it's because. Probably the communication wasn't the best. But I really understand in the beginning because I didn't do the pre-season, I don't start to play, but going more further than that, further than that. Other things happen that people they don't know. And I'm not hiding that the empathy with the coach is not good. I'm honest. He don't respect the way I should deserve. But it is what it is. This is why probably, the game against Tottenham, I left. On the manager not bringing him against Man City. Excuses, I see as excuses. I saw many things that, I don't want to criticize him. He can have different opinion than me. They choose the players that they think is better for the team. I respect that but excuses all the time you know, the excuses have short legs, cannot excuse all the time, which is things that don't make sense. Okay, you don't put me against Manchester City because of respect of your career and you want to put me three minutes against Tottenham. It doesn't make sense. I think he did it on purpose because, for example, in a national team the other clubs, if the coach wants to put me five minutes, if someone injured or if they really need me, I will help. But in that way I felt provoked not only because of that game, but before. On being suspended for the first time in his career. I think it was a strategy from the club for me to react that way. He explained. I was very, 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 very disappointing for the communication of Manchester United. To be honest, I never had a problem with any club, with any coach. And they suspend me three days, which I felt it was a lot, and the level of sport, clubs, I felt a lot. It was a shame, that. I remember arriving home and Cristiano see me and say, Daddy do not go to the game. I say I know, because the club punished me with three days. And he did like laughs, how they're going to punish you if you are the best player in the world and you're not gonna play. I said, no I'm not gonna play because I have not been behave. And he look at me like, my daddy not be behave, what? In one way, I was good because I was like, more relaxed, but in the same way, I feel very disappointed because, okay, I regret, I apologize, I'm not perfect, I made a mistake. But suspend me three games, for that, I think it's too much. And then they make fire for the press, which is really disappoint me. On a lack of respect from United and Ten Hag. 
don't tell me that the top players, the guys who want everything, the key players will play three minutes. Come on, this is unacceptable after what they keep saying before, that they respect me, that they do this, they do that. For me it was not respect, this is why I take this decision I regret. I apologize to my teammates for the situation, I did a post, an Instagram, I regret to left from the stadium. I regret my teammates know what I felt, and I said to them apologized, but in the same way, I'm not regret to take the decisions to not come on. The coach didn't have respect for me. So this is why the relationship, it's in that way. He keeps saying in the press that he come to me, he like me blah, 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 but that it's only for the press. 100%. If you don't have respect for me, I'm never going to have respect for you. On his Man United future post World Cup. It's difficult to tell right now, it's because, we, my mood is right now to the World Cup it's probably my last World Cup, of course. My fifth World Cup I don't know what's gonna happen after the World Cup, but as I told you before, and I will say again, the fans will be always in my heart. And I hope they've been in my side, even if I back, or if I'm not back, or if I stay or whatever. Nobody's perfect. Episodes in the life we all have is part of the human beings, is part of me to be a human being and father as well. I always will commit mistakes. But I don't know, it's hard to tell right now what's going to happen to World Cup because my focus is for the World Cup, for the Portugal national team. When I arrived at Manchester United, I always be available to help the team to do the good things, to put in the right spots, to compete with the best teams. But it's hard when they cut your legs and they don't like you to shine and they don't listen to your advice. I think I have words to advise to the club because the trophies are one individual and collective. I think I can help a lot, but when the infrastructure is not good. On a mega money offer to play in Saudi Arabia. Ronaldo admitted rumors of 350 million euros for two seasons were true. He added, it's true, yes it's true, but what the press keeping say, the garbage, is that nobody wants me, which is completely wrong. And I was happy here to be honest, I was motivated to do a great season here. But they continue to repeat that nobody wants Cristiano. How they don't want a player who scored 32 goals last year, with national team. On the longevity of his career. For me it's a stupid question. What do people say? They are not the same. Nobody is the same. Day by day we're getting old. Every one of us, you understand, it is normal. You have to adapt. And I think nobody in this game have this brain that adapts with his age. I'm not, I'm not one to be cocky to say that I'm the same as when I was 20. Of course, no. But I adapt and be smart to know my strength, what I'm good to do. And I'm still playing the high level and I score goals, and I will continue to score goals. If my mind is clear and happy. And if the people surround me, they're helping me to be successful player, especially the coach, the president. The directors. But when you feel that the energy don't go surround you it's difficult for you to be yourself, which is what's happened with me. But what they say the last three months is completely garbage and wrong. They say that they offer me this and that, and many presidents and directors speak about, they reject me. It's a complete lie, they lie. Because this is not what's happened. I have many clubs, not many, a few clubs that they want me to sign and I didn't go because I feel comfortable here. This is the truth. On turning down a potential 350 million euro payday. It's hard, it's hard. But in the same way, I thought that I was very happy here. That I still capable to score goals. I still believe that I can score many. Many goals and help the team because I still believe that I'm still good and capable to help national team, even Manchester United. But if you don't feel around you that the energy's on your side, it's difficult. Of course, the criticism is gonna exists all the time. Are his 37, he's not the same. But I want to see if some guy of my age can maintain the level that I show. Yes, in this moment, I feel very, very good. I believe that I'm going to do an amazing World Cup and I'm prepared, physically and mentally. But peers, it is what it is. Life's good, I'm good, my mental is good. 
I'm happy to do this interview with you. I know we're gonna generate many polemic. On criticism for speaking out in an exclusive interview. They criticize me when I don't speak, of course, they're gonna criticize me when I do speak, even more. But it's something that I can deal with that. I know I'm going to be disappointing a few people. Maybe I'm going to make up a few people. But it is what it is. The life is completely difficult, we have obstacles in our lives. And I will keep running to fight against the people who don't believe me, and the life is a challenge, and I want people to know they're wrong. It's hard, it's hard for me to say that I will not be back to Manchester United. But regardless, as you say, it's. Let's see what's going to happen. But as I told you before, the fans for me always will be in my side, will be always in my heart. I see during the days when I go to the streets, the love, the passion, that people have for me, the respect. I hope that they never forget the things that I will continue to do it. Not only in the past, but in the present too. Manchester will be always in my side, the fans will be always in my side, doesn't matter what's going to happen. And I appreciate the love that they send for me all the time. Even when I'm done play. We even, when they, when they criticize me, they always will be in my heart. So thank you to all the support. I hope to see you soon. And they always will be in my heart. On what Sir Alex Ferguson would make of recent events. I don't speak with him like one month ago, but he's always on my side. He always understand me. He knows that, he knows better than nobody that the club is not on the path they deserve to be. He knows. Everyone knows. The people who don't see that is because they don't want to see, they are blamed. The fans, they are always the answer, and the passion for the game. Manchester belongs to the fans, but they should know the truth. The infrastructure, they are not good. They should change. On the World Cup. I am very optimistic. We have a fantastic coach, we have a good generation of football players. I'm looking forward that we're going to it an amazing World Cup. Gonna be tough. Extremely difficult. But everything is possible. But of course we're gonna compete. He confessed France, Spain, Argentina, Germany and Brazil would be the big teams to beat and admitted if he helped his team to win the tournament he would retire on the spot. He added he thought England have a chance, like Portugal. On the controversy surrounding the tournament being played in Qatar. Exactly they should concentrate it in, in all competitions. All the national teams, the people to be welcome in Qatar, and I see, I see a good tournament to be honest. I think Qatar, they are prepared. They are prepared for that, and will be weird to play in the beginning of the season. Yes, but in the same way, a challenge. I think it's to be honest, it's good. I feel good. I feel with good energy. On his relationship with Lionel Messi. Amazing player is magic, top. As a person, we share the stage 16 years, imagine, 16 years. We share. So, I have great relationship with him. I'm not friend of him in terms of, what I mean friend is the guy who was with you in your house, speaking on the phone, no, but it's like a teammate. He's a guy that I really respect the way he always speak about me. Even his wife or my wife, my girlfriend, they always respect and they're from Argentina. My girlfriend is from Argentina. So good. What I'm going to say about Messi. A great guy who does great things for football. On the chance of them playing together on the same team. Asked if he would like to see Arsenal win the Premier League he confessed, I hope so, before, before quickly adding, Manchester first, and if not, Arsenal is some team that I like to see play. I like the team. I like the coach. I think they have a good team. And if Manchester United don't win the Premier League, I will be happy if Arsenal do. On his friendship with controversial internet star Jordan Peterson. I'm a huge fan of his. I read his book, 12 Rules, and I felt that he's a really interesting guy and I love to meet smart people. Fantastic man. And I learned a lot. Some advice that he gave me. We had a nice strategic conversation. Not only for the moment of my life, not only for football,
because my life is not all football. I am a businessman. I have many important things in my life. And when you are surrounded with these people with you, people that make your life more interesting, they reach something in your daily life. I appreciate because it's that kind of people that thinking outside the box, which I appreciate. We had a nice conversation, strategic conversation. On writing his own book, Cristiano Ronaldo's 12 Rules to Life. Why not? For the future, probably. I want to educate not only my family but my fans. As you know, I have a lot, millions of fans. Probably for the future I want to do some book. But not the type of book. But to help people, how to be, how to maintain longevity. How to win, which is the most important. I have experience to inspire people for that. I think I am a role model and I can help many, many people in that way, if they want my help.